What is up Diablo fans 5 here and sorry I have been away and haven't posted any videos but the reason why I have been posting uh, haven't been posting is that I've been on the ladders on seasons in Diablo on PC and I just want to show you guys uh, you know the past three days of grinding of what it has got uh, got me so um, a few people have been asked, you know, you know, show show the DH, play the DH on console. Well, I decided to play the DH on uh, PC. This was my first character on Diablo three, um, but we're doing seasons and everything. It didn't take too long to get to seventy with the help of friends. But uh, I just want to go over the gear and show you guys where I'm going, and then I think I'm going to do a daily guide of my gear, you know, daily. Uh, diary I guess you guys want to say so first off let's start off with the helm Leoric's crown is crazy now it is such a good helm because of the secondary effect increased the effect of any gem socketed into this item by 81% so I put in a life gem at the, the highest life gem and let's go ahead and take maximum life bonus just 84 you know 74 percent that's just insane to have life bonus so my life is at 716,000 um this is the main pieces that you guys want to be looking for on pc or console is the marauders um <clears throat> this build is so much fun i cannot wait to show you guys this build and what it can do um but th this was actually a pretty bad roll for my shoulders so I'm seeking out a whole entire new Marauder set actually um, chest piece also it's nice you know high dex mid fight high armor and I'm putting I'm trying to upgrade my all res gems Reapers wrap the reason why I like the Reapers wrap I do have cold damage and CC on it but it's also has uh, health globes restore your primary resource uh, 25% of your primary resource so that's that's definitely a massive plus Marauders gloves rolled pretty decent for me so I'm pretty excited about these you know Dax fight crit damage and CC very nice um, new belt I definitely need to get I mean this belt is a very good belt for survivability which getting into the higher greater rifts is definitely something that you need but um, I would really like to get that yeah that elusive witching hour um, now here is the rings and you're wondering why do what what's the gem that's inside of it they have these legendary gems now and I'll do a video going over them uh, moving forward because uh, you know it'll be some good information but this is what you get you get when you do greater rifts you can pick like say um, like do you want to upgrade your rift stone key or do you want to upgrade potentially some gems so um that's what i'm working on but with this one it increases damage against enemies under the influence of controlling effects you know when we get into skills we'll be able to take a look at that too because you know uh cold damage stuns them and slows them down so that's a big reason why to have that on the other one we have our uh rog and that one's enforcer increase the damage of your pets well they consider the centuries as pets and the way that the build rolls down comes out you can actually have five centuries down and that does a massive massive amount of damage um marauders pants um i wish i had uh you know different rolls on these but you know it's a grinding game i'm enjoying it this is probably this just it, it's just so much fun and i haven't had this much fun on pc in a while so uh, i really hope they don't mess with this uh with the demon hunter um the rut sack now what, what's so great about the rut sack is the legendary effect you may have two additional centuries up which is is pr pretty it's pretty good so um in marauder's boots <clears throat> um I, I actually like these these are pretty good um they you know um you know everything can roll higher stats obviously but uh it does everything i was let's take a look at the six piece the six piece centuries cast uh your equipped hatred spenders so we'll talk about that when we get into the skills but anything that you uh have on your hotbar it's gonna shoot and which is is pretty cool um 
the uh, critter shot or <clears throat> critter, yeah, the kinder shot. Um, elemental arrow now generates three hatred. <clears throat> so every time I shoot my elemental arrow, I get three more hatred back. So it doesn't actually use uh, my hatred. So let's go over some some of the skills. Elemental arrow, frost arrow, so that I slow enemies down, in which that legendary gem actually goes into effect. Sentry, uh, Spitfire turret. This the main reason why I use this. You may have uh, two turrets activated at this time, and also this turret will you know fire homing rockets at random nearby enemies for 120% weapon damages, which is nice. A uh, vault, I use vault uh, tumble just for uh, survivability so I can get out of that mess. Cluster arrow, uh, maelstrom, maelstrom. Uh, this uh, is cold, so it, you know, it, it stuns or it slows down enemies. So um, I don't know if I should go with cold build or fire build because some of these are actually fire. And uh, multi shot, multi shot is so cool. And this also launches three rockets. Uh, companion, I use the boar just to increase life generation and in, in uh, increase my resistance because my resistance is really lacking. Uh, and then here's my passive ballistics. Uh, increase your damage of rockets and additionally you have 20% to fire homing rocket, you know, and 150% weapon damage. Call of the week, increased damage against slowed or chilled enemies and that's why we're rocking the cold gear is because of frost elemental and also cluster arrow 20 percent it's a lot custom engineering i actually get to throw down uh three so on top of that with the red sack that's total of five uh turrets down and awareness <clears throat> this has saved my uh butt so many times when you receive fatal damage you instead vanish for two seconds and regenerates 50 percent of maximum life it's amazing so let's go on a little quick little uh run here and i just want to show you guys uh what i'm talking about with the turrets of uh, just how much damage they do i mean they're just melting and we're on t3 and i really don't have you know the best in the world dps so and then you take a look at what this does frost So, I mean, it just melts everything. You just throw that down, throw in a couple of those. It just, it melts. And it's just, it's just amazing. And it's just so much fun when you get <clears throat> into the higher uh, torments and also into the higher greater rifts. I just have way too much fun with this build. And, and that's what it should be about. It should be about, you know, having fun and not being boring. But that is it, guys. If you guys have any questions or if you guys are doing seasons, please uh, give me uh, a shout uh, on Battle.net. My, uh, all my information is in the description below. And thank you guys so much. There will be some um, Crusader videos that are coming up. There are some Barbarian uh, videos that are coming up on uh, console. Um, I did get those up to 70 thanks to a few people that helped out. So thank you guys so much. If you guys have any questions, just let me know right in the comment section below. Also, if you guys like the video, please give it a like. Uh, and uh, if not, give it a dislike. And uh, if you're new to the channel, you know, we're almost at 2,000 subscribers. You know, and if you like the content, that please give it a sub. Because then I know that you guys are continuing liking the content. But thank you guys so much. See you guys in Sanctuary. And may the RNG be with you.